So one of the things we're going to do is we bring the block up to that last four or five thousandths of honing is get the bore straight. So at the bottom of the bore, we're four, seven under. At the top of the bore, we're three, seven under. So the, the block is bigger at the bottom than it is at the top. Now, if we turn this 90 degrees, See that? You got ovality at the top of the bore also. So the, the, the bore is not round or straight and the hone is going to work to get it perfectly round and perfectly straight while applying the correct surface finish for the rings to function well on. Now, there's levels to rings functioning and if any of you guys have driven an engine that was on gasoline then you put it on ethanol and your catch can started to get stuff in it, it's because the the oil is getting washed off the bore by the alcohol fuel and you no longer have good oil control and now it's in your catch can. Well, these are one of the things you take into consideration when you hone an engine is what fuel will you run it on? And a car that's going to be run on 87 octane with direct injection and be a commuter car is a very different hone finish than a vehicle that's going to be run on methanol. So a lot of this stuff goes into engine building and it's uh it's a system so when you drop your stuff off at the machine shop you hope that the guys are participating in the system with a certain level of accuracy that way when you get your stuff back you're in a good place to move forward with your project this machine is going to show how much load is on those stones and as you watch the head of the machine dwell in one area it's removing more material and as it's finding a perfect size it'll be more even strokes as it passes up and down but th that's what makes these uh, newer machines a bit more exotic is you can just tell the machine what you want. If it's set up correctly, it'll give you that good end result.